Pet Pals TV. We're in my backyard. Eric Levitt is with us. He is my dog walker. Now, he doesn't walk Mabel because she gets enough exercise in the yard and she's a little older, so she doesn't need so much, but Stewie really needs it. I've been very busy lately. I've had a bad knee and I felt I felt like he wasn't living the best life he could. Mm. So I call on Eric. I've been so pleased. What did you find out about Stewie that's maybe a little different from other dogs? Hmm. Uh, I would definitely say that Stewie uh, aims to please, but aims. when you're when you're 100 plus pounds, you know we have to make sure that uh, what he's doing to please you is what you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's. Do you judge each dog separately when you go in and, and see them? Oh, of course. Okay. You know, just making sure that you know either myself or you know one of my team members is you know safe is first priority. Mm -hmm. um, making sure that we can actually provide you know a benefit to the client, aka yourself. You know, if if uh, if we've um, come and walked your dog a bunch and you're not seeing a benefit, <laughs> then we'll have to you know re readdress what what he really might what need. You need. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're gonna go for a walk. Sure. Uh, Stewie's <laughs> Stewie's gonna take you for a walk. As, have you noticed, is he getting better or was he good right from the Come, start? Well, that's actually, you made a good point. Let's go. I actually don't allow dogs to take me on a walk. I walk them uh, and then they, they join me. And that's really what, you know, I want all people to be able to enjoy the benefit, you know, of walking. Um, you know, if the dog is pulling you all around, that dog's taking you on a walk. And you uh, if you're that. able to keep a dog, you know, at heel or, you know, or at least at a respectable, you know, distance from you and, and you know, you're able to not have your shoulder pu pulled out or, you know, that can be really hard on people. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, that, that is definitely a key. <laughs> what I was so impressed with was that Eric came in right away and Stewie went right over like, oh, here's my drill sergeant, it's time to go. You didn't use any treats at the time, mm -hmm. nothing, you just put the collar on and boom, you started mm -hmm. walking and mm -hmm. he was there with you. I was mm -hmm. very impressed with that. So he kind of read your signals. Sure, yep. Uh, well, what's really interesting is actually when, uh, when a new person comes into a home and establishes a new set of rules uh, to a dog, that's all they know as far as the relationship goes between that human and them. Huh. So it's a lot easier for a stranger to come in and say, okay, this is how you're going to act, you know, oh. around me. They don't have to remember, you know, oh, uh, Patty lets me get away with this, <laughs> you know. What would you tell people about the different leashes? Well, there's, uh, you know, when it comes to leashes, we, we really just address those as, you know, being called tools. Okay. So there's different types of collars, different okay. types of leashes, you know, harnesses. Um, you know, some work better than others. Some have a better proven track record, you know, than others. Uh, ultimately, it's going to be, you know, the, the pet owner's decision. Uh, but there are definitely some ways that we can, you know, provide the best, you know, situation and, and, you know and maybe what some I'm recommendations. Gonna, you know what I'm going to say here? The retractable leashes. I see it all the time. And with mm -hmm. a little dog, you can yeah. get away with it. With a big dog, it's dangerous, isn't it? Sure. I mean, a, a retractable leash just doesn't provide the, the response time. Uh, that you need in case there is an emergency. You know, if a dog runs over, you know, across the trail or across the path, uh, and, and you have your, you know, retractable leash 12 to 15 feet out, uh, you are not able to protect your animal or yourself or that other dog, you know, as quickly as you might want to, mm -hmm. you know, always in hindsight. Always in hindsight. So he definitely knows that Eric is in charge. Eric, thank you so much. Absolutely, thank you. My dog walker. You'll see him out with Stewie. Oh, and by the way, if you see with Stewie, don't come over and pet you, right? You're on a mission. Sure. Don't come and pet you or the dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, thank you, Eric. Absolutely. We'll be back with more on Pet Pals TV.